If you're still struggling to create continuous videos with consistent characters, then you should definitely check out this tool. And it has got a unique feature that is overturning most of the image to video and text to video generated tools out there. I'm talking about Vidu and more specifically its powerful reference to video feature which enables video generation using multiple image references. You can upload separate images for characters, scenes and props and Vidu will follow your prompt to seamlessly combine them into cohesive video that preserves every detail. And it also means that you can easily switch all the elements within the video however you want to. So let me quickly jump onto my computer screen and show you Vidu's reference to video feature in action and the kind of results that you can get using it. So this right here is Vidu and this is the AI video generator that I've been talking about. So the first thing that you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to Vidu.com and sign up for a new account. And once you're logged in, let me quickly head over to the dashboard. So once you log in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see or this is the dashboard and this is where all the magic happens. And towards the left side, here you'll be able to find all these tools that are available within Vidu. So first of all, we have reference to video, which is the tool that I'm personally so excited about. Then we have image to video, text to video, and you can even generate sound effects for your videos using this AI sound effects option. And you can even create videos based on templates in this section right here as well. I'll go through all of this later in this video, but first we'll start with this reference to video option. So I can click on this button right here. And now this right here is the section where you can upload multiple images as references and then create a video out of it. For example, let's say you want to create a scene and you have images of all the different props, characters, scene setting and all that should be part of that video. Now what you can do is you can actually go ahead and upload the image files of all that images into this section right here and now the AI will use all these images as reference and then create a final video out of it. Think about it. For example, let's say you have a main character, you have a setting, you have some props that should go, you have scene and everything else. You just dump all that into Vidu and give a prompt and the AI will do its magic. So let me show you it in action. So first of all, I'll click on this drop down menu from the top and make sure to select the model as Vidu Q1. So that is very, very important. So this is the AI model that we'll be using. And as you can see, it says clearer visual quality. So I'll select Vidu Q1. And next up, it says you can upload one to seven references from your images or from the references you have already saved. So basically you can upload up to seven images. So what I'll do is I'll click on this images option first and then select a image of myself. So this right here is the photo of the subject. All right, so the main character, which is actually a photo of me, I'll upload that. And next step, I'll go ahead and say, doing some serious science experiment at, and next I'll upload an image of a laboratory. So what I'll do is I'll click on this image option and select the photo of the lab. So this right here is the photo of the lab. So I want a video where I'm working in this lab. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and select that. And now as soon as I upload all these images, as you can see, image one is automatically tagged in here. Image two is automatically tagged in here. And next up, I'll go ahead and say, and then I want to add yet another character. So I'll go ahead and let's say, select this one. So this right here is a photo of a transformer and I want to include that in the scene as well. So let's make it more sci-fi, okay? So image three, that is helping him. Okay, serious. Oops, spelling mistake, okay. So image one, that is this photo right here, doing some serious science experiment at image two, that is this lab, and image three, that is this transformer helping him. So this is the prompt that I'll give. And next step, as I scroll down, I can go ahead and select the duration, that is five seconds. The resolution is 1080p, full HD, okay? So I'll select 1080p. And then if you want to adjust the movement amplitude, you can go ahead and select it from here, but I'll keep it auto. And next step, you need to select the aspect ratio. So here we have a couple of options like 16 is to 9, 9 is to 16 and 1 is to 1. So depending on whether you want to create a short form content or a long vertical video or a portrait video or landscape video, you can select it from here. You can select the number of videos. And again, if you want to, you can also go ahead and enable off peak mode. So this is the setting. And again, another interesting thing is that if you repeatedly use certain images as reference for a lot of videos, for example, let's say you're creating a continuous movie and you have multiple scenes with same props and characters, you can actually go ahead and click on this references option right here and create a reference by uploading all these images. And once that is set, you can simply go ahead and select it and start using it right away. So you don't, you no longer have to, let's say, upload all the images every time. So if you want to, you can create a reference as well. And now this is all that you got to do. And now as soon as I click on this create button right here, the AI goes ahead and takes in all the images as input that we uploaded and also analyzes the uh, prompt that we give and create a video and show us the output. And it says in queue, your video is prioritized. So it will take some time. So let's wait till it is done. All right, so our video is ready. And this right here is the video. All right, look at that. So I'm doing some science experiment with some test tube and all that. 
And as you can see, we have the transformer right behind me. And the movements and all that looks really great. And also my costume is the same, like the dress that I'm wearing. So as you saw, I just went ahead and uploaded the image of me, the transformer and the laboratory. And the AI just went ahead and created a full length video out of it. Wow, this is super sick, man. And now this right here is another variation of the video for the same prompt. And this also looks good. So yeah, that's for the first one. Next up, let's just go ahead and upload my image again. And this time around, I'll go ahead and say playing football with and I'll select the image of the ball. So this one right here. So this is the ball. So with this ball along with and now I'll go ahead and upload the image of Sonic. Okay. Sonic in a football field and maybe I'll upload an image of a football field as well. So this one right here. So yeah, I'll click on open. So basically the prompt says image one that is this one right here playing football with this football along with Sonic and this is the image three in a football field that is image four. So basically we have uploaded four different image as reference. I have selected we do Q1 and now all of this looks good. So I'll go ahead and click on this create option and let's see. All right. So there you go. The video is ready. So let me play it for you. Look at that. So I and Sonic are playing football in a football field and I generated this video by uploading four images as reference and there you go. And the interesting part is that once you generate a video, you can click on this button right here and select the without watermark option and then click on this button and you can download the MP4 file to your computer. Now after you generate a video, you can download it. And yet another cool thing is that if you click on this button right here, you'll be able to upscale the video to 2K or 4K and then download it as well. For example, if you use 20 credits, you'll be able to upscale the video to 4K and then download it. So that is also one option that you have right within video. Next step, let's just go ahead and try to create another video. So I'll upload my photo again and I'll go ahead and say walking in the beach and then I'll upload the photo of the beach. So this one right here and I'll say with a dog and I'll upload the photo of the dog as well. So this one right here. So this is the prompt. So basically I want a video where I'm walking with a dog in this beach right here. So I'll go ahead and select yeah video Q1 and I'll click on generate and let's see. So there you go. The video is ready and this right here is the video of me and the dog walking in a beach. There you go. And now I'm kind of wondering the possibility that it opens up. So you no longer need to hire an expensive cameraman or go to places to record video. You just need all these images like high quality images of all the props and scenes and everything else and you can upload it to a tool like this and let the AI do everything. I mean the movement of the dog, the person, everything looks super sleek right? I mean all that is in sync and it is as easy as just giving a couple of these prompts and images and with the press of a button you're sorted. And now I'll try to create one more video and after that I'll explore image to video and text to video options. So this time around I'll select the photo of this transformer right here and I'll go ahead and say walking in a post apocalyptic world uh, where planets and other objects can be seen in the sky all right so this is the prompt so basically we uploaded the image of the transformer and now i'll go ahead and click on okay select video q1 everything looks good and this time around i might actually go ahead and switch it to 9 is to 16 and then i'll create the video and let's see so there you go here we have the video of the transformer walking in a post apocalyptic world and we can find a couple of these planets in the sky as well all right so that is basically how you use the reference to video feature right within video you can configure all these settings and upload images as reference and create the video and that is basically the flow and now if you go to this explore section right here you'll be able to find what other people are creating so all these are videos that other people have created and if you're lacking inspiration, you can actually go ahead and browse through this page right here and find more inspiration to create videos about. And next up, I'll click on this image to video option and I'll try to create a video from a image. I'll click on this upload image button right here and select the photo. So this right here is the image that I want to turn it into a video. So basically I want the person to walk towards the tree. So this right here is the image and what I'll do is the person walking towards the tree 
and i'd say maybe the leaves on the tree moving due to wind okay so this is the prompt i'll give and if you want to give let's say another image you can upload it in here and you can go ahead and give a descriptive prompt and now i'll keep all these settings as it is and now i'll click on this create option and let's wait so there you go here we have the video and let's see it all right so there we have the video of the person walking towards the tree and we just went ahead and converted a static image into a video using the video q1 model and now maybe i mean after you generate the video you can either go ahead and upscale it or you can download the same without watermark to your computer and next up i'll also show you how we can create a video from a plain simple text as well so here i'll go ahead and paste a prompt and it says an astronaut floating above a collapsing space station earth visible in the background sparks and debris flying around slow motion cinematic quality so this is the prompt i'll give and now i'll keep it as 16 is to 9 all of that looks good all right so i'll click on create and let's see all right so there we have the video and let's play it all right so sparks debris in there and also the floating astronaut and we can also find the earth in the background just like the prompt that we give so we do q1 gives you multiple options you can either go ahead and upload multiple images as reference and create video out of it turn a image into video and finally also turn text into video as well and next step let's also try this AI sound effects option right within we do so it says exact control over duration timing and multiple sound overlaps so i'll go ahead and click on one of these samples and it says retro latin jazz with guitar percussion saxophone and piano with an upbeat rhythm ideal for lively dance parties or sunny afternoon street performance all right i'll click on this create option and let's see it says uh, creating and hopefully it should be done in a couple of seconds let's see all right so there you go the audio or the sound effects is ready and let's just go ahead and play it okay a retro latin jazz kind of a audio and it actually looks good and you can just go ahead and click on this button right here to download the sound effect and you can start using it right away so that is video ai for you and now my personal favorite feature has to be this reference to video feature where you can upload multiple images and turn it into video but you also have options to turn a image into video text into video and even explore all these templates like this and you can right away start using this template in just a single click as well okay so that is how powerful video is and now all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below head over to video sign up for a new account and you can to start using it right away so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one